And this is how Liverpool will line up. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Andrew Robertson starts with Trent Alexander-Arnold in the fullback positions. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain plays alongside Thiago in central midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And here are the starters for Atletico. Jan Oblak stands between the posts. Jose Maria Jimenez plays with Stefan Savic in central defence. Rodrigo de Paul starts with Danny Parejo in central midfield. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal-scoring threat. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. What are you expecting to see from him, Stuart? Well, he's had a great competition so far. His finishing has been so clinical, and these defenders just can't afford to give him any sort of space in the box. Otherwise, they'll be punished. Oh, well hit, but couldn't keep it down. Oh, a lovely ball. Memphis to five, and a goal to open the scoring. A very bright start to this one. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb. And while it's certainly not a clean strike of the ball, he makes enough contact on it to beat the keeper. He won't care how it goes in as long as it does. Thiago and Diaz has it Salah Salah and a goal here there it is they've done it well here we can see it again look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself but he's still got so much work to do just look at the strength he shows to hold off the defender and still get his shot away. That's a really good finish. Oh, good vision. But how well he did to cut that one out. And a goal! And now the question is, can they come up with one more? Well, as you see, it's not a good pass out from the back. It's on the wrong side of the player he's trying to pass it to. It's intercepted, and it's a good finish. Yes, of course it is, but it's not good defending all round. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. Well, he opted for power from close range. He might be regretting that now. And a quick reminder, we have FA Cup quarter-final action for you to enjoy here on EA TV. It's Liverpool facing Burnley. Well, Derek, that should be a really good game down to the last eight with a place in the semi-final at stake that should be an absolute oh big cracker. chance here and a goal real excitement here the equaliser well let's just see again how alexander arnold delivered this cross into such a good area but i don't think the keeper should be beaten at his near post quite so easily i thought that was stoppable This is looking threatening. Alexander Arnold. In it goes! A huge goal in this tie. As it stands, they will be the ones going through. Yeah. 
Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. Jimenez. De Paul. Effective looking pass. And he's done it. Parity again. A magnificent game unfolding. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box. Just begging someone to get on the end of it. And Griezmann does the rest. He strikes it so cleanly, there's no stopping that one. That is that after 90 minutes. They are level, and extra time is coming up. Keita! Keita! Well kept out. This is such a close tight. They just need to make the most of these set pieces. Time is fast running out. Five minutes left on the second period of extra time here. Is it going to be? Just had to keep his concentration to the maximum, and he did. Well, a goal here would surely see them through. So little time left now. And he's fired over the corner. A deft clearance. Mo Salah. And no way through. Well, it's such a close contest. Will a set play be the difference? Delivering it. Well, let's look at this again. It's a decent delivery into the box. And the header from Firmino is technically spot on. He arrives at the right time, makes good contact with the ball. That's a really nice goal. And there it is, the final whistle. And a victory over the two legs in this tie for Liverpool. Well, that was a tough and tiring extra time, but they're through, and I would say deservedly so, because over the two legs, they've just about been the more creative team.